forget it, for everything is ended now. Nothing ends without a cause, Echian. Especially an engagement that is only a week old. I've broken the engagement because I've decided to have nothing to do with men anymore. <laughs> It was and I have a coconut tree, darling. It was and I have a coconut tree. I promise to give you a ring, darling, by the side of the coconut tree. Oh no, oh no, oh no, Daku. Anymore. Hey, hey, stop 
where you are, if you are really a woman, what do you want to do with yourself? Are you going to stay on my neck forever? <laughs> hey? Yeah. Where are the ornaments? Yeah. Here. Take it. Ah! Hey! Oh, hey! Please, 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 please. No, please, no! I'm going to kill this girl. Please, please, please. Ah! please. I know how you feel. Please leave a chance to me. Uh, lovers can handle each other better. Ah. <laughs> Okay, if she would listen to you, then tell her that I say until she accepts back the engagement ornaments from you, she should consider herself disowned by me. I don't want to see her again in this house. Huh? Ah, I thought you were crying. I shall never shed tears for any man. Never in my life. As long as this white band remains on my head, my war with men is on. Let's go. We came to meet and we'll leave for them. A tuman kuma boa dea bore bore ba dea go bing kuma nasi. Kuma nasi aman bebo. Kuma nasi aman bebo. A tuman kuma boa dea bore bore ba dea go bing kuma nasi. Kuma nasi aman bebo. Kuma nasi aman bebo. Tell me, how did this madness start? Nana, but here a charm was the first girl to return her engagement ornaments. Hmm? She has even been quoted saying she's starting a rebellion. We shall soon see how this rebellion starts. God! At your service, Nana! I want that girl arrested immediately! Immediately, Nana! Arrest also all girls of this village who have retained their engagement ornaments to their would-be husband. Immediately, Nana! Apofra, all money, my men, Nana. Onu sun debi. Apofra, money, my men, Nana. Onu sun debi. Apofra, money, my men, Nana. Onu sun debi. Je pesi ni pe, pe pe pe, mata jo, mata jo.
needed to persuade the two girls to return their engagement on a month. We are succeeding, the yes, child. We are succeeding. I have one broken engagement to my parents. <laughs> the dawn of a new day approaching. So let us continue to fight even harder. Yeah, yeah, ma, yeah, yeah.
Chan, the radical woman. On vous avoue. Nana. I had you summoned here because of an issue I know you are very much aware of. Nane, Nane, Yamame, what I'm saying, yeah. The beer and the set, a chassia, Wama, Bubuan, Babuan, Babuan, near Sambia, Becca, you get tired of Fanta, Yapai, You may go in peace. Oh, thank you, Nana. Tell us something, Nachan. What are your problems? What are you fighting against? Mm. Nana, we are fighting against so many things affecting women in this kingdom. Chief among them is the way men treat their wives. How do men treat their wives? Like slaves, Nana. And yet, Yaya Mosa Sunipa, Yaya Mosa Sokaya, Yaya Mosa Sokwa, Yaya Mokaya, Yaya Mosa Sunipa, Yaya Mosa Sokaya, Yaya Mosa Sokwa, Yaya Mokaya. You are a very daring woman indeed, I must say. And I, I don't see her as daring at all. I see this girl as very stupid. Nana, I, I do not mean to sound offensive. But if talking about the injustices women suffer makes me appear stupid, then that only goes to confirm what very little sympathy men have for women. No, no, no. This girl has insulted me. Yes. The whole me, Akotro Kampe. You are a witness. Everyone here is a witness. And I will not take this lightly at all. Calm down, Kampe. One hunchback does not sit on concern <laughs> while another hunchback is being made fun of. Please sit down. Let us listen to more insults. <laughs> Go on, a child. <laughs> beautiful young woman. At the tender age of 19, she is already a mother of four. Yet, that does not save her from her husband's brutal treatment. Take a close look at her, Nana. She looks like a 40-year-old woman, but she is only 19. The worst part of her case is that she was given in marriage to her 55-year-old husband as recompense because her father owed her husband dead, he could not make good. A clear victim of circumstances, Nana. And what makes this woman a victim of circumstances, HR? Is she the only woman who has been married under such an arrangement? No, she is not a penny company. Mm -hmm. Which is rather the point I'm trying to drive home. Nana, we sincerely believe that a woman should respect and obey her husband. But those are not the only things that constitute marriage. Why are you teaching us wisdom, a child? How can a child teach her grandfathers how to suck eggs? I wish you would give this girl the chance to speak. Come, babe. Nana, I will not sit down whilst this girl continues to insult us with such impudence. But if you wish not to hear my voice anymore, that is fine. I take my leave this very moment. Is this how an elder should behave? Let's move on. We shall discuss this later. All right. Go on, a Deformed, 
invalid, offensive of manner, unreasonably choleric, impotent. Whatever the man is, the woman is expected to marry him without any objections whatsoever. Hey, we have suffered in subjugated silence for far too long. But now, we can no longer continue to be the virtuous slaves our husbands have turned us into. No more the all complaining victims of their wimp and wickedness. Enough! You are a bad nut that must be cast out in order not to contaminate other nuts. Echan, you shall suffer the severest punishment that can be meted out to a citizen of your type. Oh. You shall be banished oh. in this village. My lord, speak. I've been quiet all this while, but now allow me to raise my voice. I'm appealing against the harshness of the sentence. Is it because you are a woman yourself, Nanae? Let us put my being a woman of sight. And listen to me. You are my wife and queen of this kingdom. What custom demands of you is to stand by your husband's decisions at all times. I'm only appealing against the harshness of the sentence. You did not even give a child the chance to retract all that she has said. Well, that is, if you and your elders consider her words offensive, you could then induce her to go back for her ornament. Thank you very much for your concern, Nanairi. But truth is not laid back once it has been spoken. Very well. The die is cast now. You are banished from this village. From today, you are an outcast. God, at your service, Nana, take her to one side. Quata, Nana, ask the girls which option they prefer. You have renounce a child, go back on their engagement ornaments, or to be punished with her. You heard the king. We stand by everything the child has said. All of you? All, All of us. us. No, no, Nana, please. I am not one of them. I happened to be with these girls at the time they were arrested. And though I told the guards that I'm already married, and although they saw this baby at my back, they arrested me too. It's please. all right. It's all right. It is a mistake. Go home. Uh, uh, thank you, Nana. By their choice, these girls shall suffer the same fate as a child. But warn them that the day any of them shall set foot back in this village, death shall be a lot. I have spoken. Yeah. Shall we go and have some rest, my dear? It's been a very exhausting day. Anyway, she is just a woman. How many times do you want me to remind you that I have a lot of things to do in the village 
before the sun goes down. I told right? you this morning I'm not feeling not It was well. just an excuse to make you stay at home. Now, move on before I hate you. <laughs> hey, will you get up and start gathering the things before I lose my temper and start whipping you with this magic? Hey, who is that? Hey, Echa, you. What is this nonsense? Give me that matches. Okay, put the baby at your back and start packing those items back into the basket. Okay. Echa! Jaya ba, ya niye! Ya kemba pa kuye! Ya niye ni peba kuna ye nya pa kuye! Ya niye piya kuye be ye niye nya pa kuye! Where is that woman? Huh? Where is that stupid? 
stupid woman. I will not be called Yeboa if I don't murder her today. Hey! hey, hey. <laughs>
when they just call. <laughs> what about your appointment with Mensa? <laughs> Afra Kuma, you can only fool yourself. <laughs> Each and every one of us here knows that you have an appointment with Mensa at the place where the barber tree lies. Oh. <laughs> Tell us it's a lie. <laughs> Kao, I am going to punish her because we all took a vow on this. Please forgive her. Since this is her, the first time she has gone astray, her temptations are a natural human being. Please, a child. There is one thing we all have to have at the back of our mind, and that is self discipline. Without self discipline, no one can carry any struggle through. Afakuma, we have indeed kidnapped Tiwa, but we cannot trust you with her whereabouts because.
around here, I suppose. I'm sure she's gone back to the village. She dares not. Whatever it is, I know she won't come back anymore. But now, let me ask you this question. Who has understanding among you? Which of you understands me? Which of you feels and knows what I feel? I do. I do. It is not just a matter of saying I do, I do. Who actually understands why we are fighting? Are we fighting because we have our individual ends to achieve? No. Our only goal is to see the upliftment of women everywhere. Women, this is a call to duty. Sisters, so pay heed to my voice. You, as women, must get up and fight for equality. I've overthrown the power that men have fought over us. Nana. May we now call the attention of the gods to this all important occasion. Oh, 
You who chart the course of human destiny. Take this drink. Without your holy presence, nothing we do can be wise. That is why we call upon you this day to be with us. Come down. Come down. Come down. Anna, the gods are here. Thank you, our high priest. Quata, Nana. Until Mao Chiami gets well enough to join us, you will continue to play his role. I'm on it, Nana. <laughs> Ochiami, Nana. I want you to ask a child only one question for me. Why did she and her followers enter this village after I myself, under the instruction of the gods, had banished them from this soil? Ochiami, you heard the king. Are you or are you not going to answer my question? Does your daughter hear your voice? Nana, a guilty person who has nothing to say to defend herself keeps mute. That is why she's not speaking. She's guilty and she knows it. So why are we wasting time over her? Very well. Mm. I am going to deal with you according to the gravity of your offense. You are not fit to live in society. That is why I banished you and gave you the warning that the day you shall set foot back in this village, death shall be your lot. Now you have death, so death is yours. Your case is finished. I choose to stand accused with these victims of great injustice. My place is in their midst. If they are freed, I am freed. When they are condemned, I'm also condemned. You are trying my temper. You are obstructing the course of the laws of this land. This is not the way to stifle opposition to rotten and decaying traditions. Watch your tongue, for the gods are easily offended. Yes. I am woefully offending the gods today. <gasps> this struggle is my struggle too because I'm a woman. I should have started it, but I didn't. That is why I keep blaming myself for having let all women down. No, no. No, my dear wife. My dear wife, please. Please. Listen to me. Come, listen to me. Bravo. It is good we are rid of her. Yes. <laughs> my honest, why, what do we do with the rest of the girls? Nana. Do you need any advice in this matter? These girls were all banished and warned not to return to the village. Mm -hmm. They did return, so they too must die. No! I am the only one who would die with a charm. Okay, was not with us when we were banished. Yewa nasa o, yewa nasa. Yewa nasa o, yewa nasa. understand this. If we all die, that will be the end of the struggle. Live and continue the fight as the new leader. Organize more yeah. girls and... Will you shut up? Will you shut up, Etan? Oh, if this is what you want her to do, then both of you would die. I promise you that. Uh, uh, Nana, I believe the whole problem lies with the child. She is the spirit and symbol of the rebellion. If she dies, the rebellion is dead. All others must be pardoned. No, I will die. Quata, why are you pampering someone who is rebuffing an undeserved pardon? 
She knows she must die, so let her die. Calm down, Akuzu Kampe. We are not trying to solve the problem with death. A child will die because, like what I just said, she is the rebellion. But I am offering an unqualified pardon to the rest of the girls. I disagree. I vehemently disagree. If a child dies, Kunedu Day must also die. Otherwise, both of them must be freed. I am granting a personal amnesty to Kunedu, but the child will die. Oh, very well then. If my words will always be thrown back in my face, then I think I will advise myself. Uh, one other less will affect nothing. Let's carry on. Very well. Convozabu. Mm -hmm. The throne has given final judgment. Convey our sincere gratitude to the gods for their wisdom. The merciful, the compassionate, giver of life and death. Oh, today I pray the merciful. the rest to you. God? At your service, open your heart. Take a child away. She is a witch. I must die like one.
Where are the girls? What have you done with them? They have been pardoned. All of them? It can't be all of them. The gods themselves decreed that the child must die by birth. If some blind god said that, and you take it as a wise decision, then that decides everything. And I mean everything. What is that everything supposed to be? Here is poison. The moment I get the confirmation that a child is dead, I swallow it. No, but you don't do that. Just let me get the confirmation that the child is dead. No, you, I will do everything that you want me to do. As don't, don't. you stand here now, she is drawing nearer and nearer to her grave. Go. Yes, I, I will save a child. Go! Put that man, don't, go! But you don't have to kill yourself. I, I will go. I will save her. I will. traditions to undergo transformation with the passage of time. I am therefore happy to announce to our women folk that all that Echa and her gallant followers demanded is being considered by the throne. Nana, I am not aware that anything of such nature is being considered. You only have yourself to blame then. Listen to me, Nana. Granting those controversial privileges to women won't constitute the greatest sacrilege ever to be committed in this kingdom. 
It is going to be the greatest subversion of nature's order. Do you think nature was stupid in placing man above woman? Do you think nature was stupid in making women weak and men strong? Do you think nature was stupid in making men more sensible Come than women? Come we came here to warn, not to quarrel. No one will silence me today. Send them and cry more very man at Danny and Barra. Miss Nebu, pen, pen, do not paint, Kuma very man. Ottoman Kuma Bo, we are seen no Obo, ma, and very man. Obo, be Piara, Emma Soka, send him very ma, Binya, Unto, Obo, be Piara, Emma Soka, I am the greatest custodian of our customs and traditions, and whatever I say binds. <clears throat> very well. Women shall have some amount of relief in this kingdom. Ah, <laughs> very well. Then I will dissociate myself from any decision you take, so that when the gods strike, which will be very imminent, I shall be spared the calamities of the repercussions. I am glad he is gone. <laughs> With men such as he out of the council of elders, I assure you that there shall be progress in this land. Yeah, yeah, merry man. A merry bay, a merry bay, a merry bay, yeah. A merry bay. A merry bay, a merry bay, a merry bay, yeah. A merry bay.
bring a, a very warm audience. I don't know whether I should say the warmest audience so far. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm going to go on backstage, give them a round of applause. <laughs> With what you saw, uh, this is just the end product. But there was a beginning. And the beginning had different uh, aspects of it. It came from different angles, different uh, directions to one place, which is this end product that you have seen. And for that matter, I would like to introduce to you just a few people. And the first person that I want to introduce to you is the one who actually controls the music for this production, and that is John Edmondson. Then again, there were some people who were doing a lot of communication before the artwork started. These are two people. One person is Akosia Abdallah. Yeah. Right. You see, she's still going to do some communication work. Yeah, because she's the uh, public relations officer of the company and the program's director. And for that matter, she was really communicating with Mr. Ralph Hemke. <laughs> Ralph! Ralph! Yeah, please give a round of applause for me. Yes, that is Akosia. These two people. He doesn't like me to say, but the fact is that you know something, when you do something good, uh, in my language we say, Obi ye bibina ya, na ose o ya ye ye ni de. Ye ye na ye. Rob, ose ya aye ye, mumbo mi se man. The last but not the least, the least, sorry, is the one who rewrote this play, adapted it, and directed it. And that is Madame Jifa Glikwe. <laughs> So I'll give way to Ralph or my director. Let's them. Do yeah. the if they have anything to say, um, they, they, they say. <laughs> Mom, Ralph? We have some CDs out there, and we have some, yeah, about, uh, uh, CDs on fast on the songs, and then folk tune that we played uh, during the concert yesterday. I think, uh, Rob, can I say they are lovely ones? Sure. So everybody, you can get a copy in the foyer. <laughs> Put some beautiful artifacts and uh, batik shares that we brought along from Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for giving a very wonderful <laughs> audience. 